Hello YouTube, Suzaku Blitz here, coming you with part 2 of my Orcs Must Die Lost Adventures 5 Skull Nightmare Difficulty video walkthrough. Holy crap, is that a mouthful. Uh, in today's episode, we'll be handling Reverse Tower, which is, as you might have figured out, the tower backwards. The tower is the 15th or 16th level in the original campaign, and arguably one of my favorite levels in the entire game. Uh, you could probably remember that with my, that's the first time I used my decoy, decoy, knowledge weaver, well, decoy, trap linkage, spell magnification, uh, shenanigans. <laughs> okay, but unlike, unlike that level, this level is just total amounts of shenanigans on the opponent's part, and I'll show you why. What have you got? Oh nice yes, choice. elemental Gosh. weaver, let's Excellent. do this. So in this particular level, I like using Elements Weaver because at the choke point where I'm going to start setting up, there really isn't any good place to put traps down. And because of that, you're probably better off just going for... You're probably better off just trying to kill... Uh... Freeze you! You're better off just trying to kill uh, everything with yourself because... Just the way... That's just the way... Uh, between the fact there's not too much wall space, there's not really any good places for a clock or a base, uh, the ground spaces can get a little buggy, and that hallway where I'm going to, where I'm going to recommend you set up, I just... Uh, I just think that it's just easier like that. Okay, I'm going to grab charged weapons right now. What charged weapons says is... Uh, what charged weapons basically says is every time I make a kill with my crossbow, or my blade staff. Oh boy. Every time I make a kill with my crossbow or my blade staff, uh, I get to uh, I get five percent my mana back. All right. Okay, I was trying to sell that, but apparently didn't want me to sell it. I will do that really quick to cap on my mana. Uh, this is a 15 rift, 12 level, uh, a 12 level, uh, 12 wave level. Uh, always keep an eye on that rift point because either that means you lead the flyer or you lead the... You lead the flyer or you lead the kobold, and there are a lot of kobolds to deal with in this level. Archers are thankfully very easy to take out. Thankfully, yeah, the archers are kind of easy to take out. Okay, that takes care of all the flyers. I'm going to set up another corn forge right there. The whole plan is to uh, maximize my ki my coins per kill and then take everything away afterwards because, well, I'm going to need all the money I can get. Doing that to try to get. Oh boy, they're leaking. I did that to try to maximize my. Uh, Alright, he's care of everything. My coins per kill. Uh, okay. So here we go, round three, no flyers to deal with. Uh, I'm hoping to get about 6,000. As I said, in the first three waves, everything comes in through this particular door, so you can focus up here. Don't even bother setting up traps, because they're going to need to move downstairs in a little bit. Oh boy, dying hard! But we're going to be okay. If you kill all of those fast enough, you will get a 1,000 coin bonus. So use that to your advantage. Uh, here comes more sappers and a flame ogre. We are going to go and take care of these guys really quick. Preferably without my computer messing up. And here comes more sappers. And this will signify the end of wave pretty much. Assuming I can actually kill them on on a timely manner. Alright, I managed to sell them all quickly. Okay, now you want to move downstairs. 7,000 gold is a lot to work with. Uh, set this up really quick to handle all of these guys. In fact, I'm going to set another one right here once I get the mana. That way nothing will get through and I'm going to come down here and start setting up ballistas. Very important to set up ballistas right here because when you have enough ballistas, they can basically handle every single flying wave possible. 
I'm going to now do that again. I will handle the leaks. And there, takes care of all that. Freeze you guys in place. Uh, drop another one down there for my pleasure. Uh, freeze you, chop you up, and then go to town. And that takes care of the wave. Uh, oh, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. More ballistas right there for now. Uh, this is the choke point I, was, I recommend you everyone set up on. Because this is, this is basically just two tiles across. And you can put down a flame bracer secondary. It will basically hit everything it touches. And it basically will kill all the kobolds without even trying. That up really quickly right there too. Uh, here comes more frost bats. Uh, the ballistas will take care of them, but don't be afraid to help out a little bit because at this point in time you may still not have enough to warrant to risk not leaking. So make sure to uh, help out when you can. Eventually you will have enough where you can just go, hey, look, they're all done. I thought one got behind me. And that takes care of you. More ballistas are coming up. Uh, the corn forge, this particular corn forge is just here just to be here. I don't really expect to get too many kills on the corn forge. But the corn forge is generally very cheap, so it's very easy to make up its cost. And you will eventually be making kills on it, so I figured there's no harm in doing that. Oh boy, that was bad. Okay, I accidentally fired off everything by accident. So now I'm going to do that to get some life back. Okay. Alright, I should handle everything. No kobolds got through. Uh, and that takes care of them. Oh my gosh, quickly kill before this guy de- oh, There we go, now I got the coins as well. Yes, there are more frost ogres coming. This is a level full of fire ogres. This is a level full of fire ogres. Once you learn enough, you can kind of start directing your uh, your ice blast very appropriately to handle things like so. I'm going to set that up to help kill all the archers coming down. Burn you, can try to burn you guys. Here comes some more frost ogre or ogres. Freeze you in place. Come on, kill. There we go. Oh, and there that orc archer just got annihilated. Alright. Unfortunately, you're not going to have too much time to go back to the river for a lot to replenish lost health. So, at that particular case, I recommend using the Vampiric Gauntlet and putting a bit of health drain on the on your uh, on your opponent to handle them. You get kills. Yes, I did manage to handle both of them before uh, they get unfrozen. Excellent. At this point in time, there should be more than enough auto bullets to handle anything coming down. So I'm going to start doing something for you. This to handle every help me handle things coming down this hallway. Uh, I'm going to try to freeze these guys right there and go to town. The great another great thing about setting up right there is the fact that. Uh, it's possible to secondary freeze the entire column of orcs and ogres and be able to chop through all of them before they unfreeze thanks to the elements we have talent. Which is a great way to start cleaning through everything here. Alright, more, more ballistas coming up. I'm going to try to kill as many things as possible in the corn force to help maximize my kill. And go to town. I'm now going to set up a mana well right here. And that takes care of all that. Uh, one, two, one more to go. Use the mana well once again. Pull out the vampiric gauntlets. You won't have too much time. You will not have too much time to uh, get go back to the rift, and I don't recommend going back to rift. So use your vampiric gauntlets to get life back. Then come back to your mana fountain to get your mana back. Uh, it's a nice, it's a nice vicious cycle for them, which makes, which makes me as a player very happy. Once again, go to town, like so. Uh, here comes a bunch more frost over to deal with. I'm going to set up another secondary 
flame bracers right there to kill all the orbs coming through. Oh boy, here comes ogres. Freeze you guys up really quick. With the talent, it is actually very possible to kill the frost ogres before they eat the all if you're fast enough about it. Which is the hard, which is the hard part. Like so. You might have to practice a little bit. Like, that was a very bad at showing on my part, but like I said, you can do it. I'm gonna start setting up now I'm gonna start setting up Brimstone right there. Alright, here comes a bunch more cool holds. Freeze them on. Oh boy, that guy didn't freeze properly. I'm gonna do that. Jump over him while firing my secondary. Okay, here comes some more. I'm going to set does there one to help handle to help kill any cool holdies potentially. But that, that, the fire, the flame bracer secondary is just there as a safety net more than anything else. Honestly, your cobalt should not be getting through with that, what's there right now. So. Oh, I'm gonna kill you really quick because you're gonna need all the core. Oh, I'm gonna do the exact same. There we go. Come on. Die, 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 die. There we go. Oh yes, there are a lot of flame ogres. Come on, kill you really quick. Now I'm just gonna use my secondary on you two and leisurely just chop you guys to pieces. Like so. Now I'm going to finish up layering the brimstone and start putting up one more turret. Throw in another mana fountain right there to help my mana supply out. Uh, and start putting a couple, try to put, try to put a couple more brimstone right here. I've noticed there's a bug on this particular pathway that sometimes they will let you place four traps, other times they won't. Like right now, they won't let me put it right there. So I've just been like, ah, whatever. Alright, more ballistas. Go to town. Wave 10 of 10. Wave 10 of 12. Still 15 out of 15 drifts. Start burning all the orcs on my, uh... Start burning all the orcs on my, uh, on my coin forge. Set up another one as another safety net to handle all these cobalt runners. Oh my gosh, let the BSRE commence. Uh, hard drive leg. Oh boy, I'm gonna do that really quick, actually. Oh boy, bad, this is bad. Alright. Okay, they're all frozen now. These guys, mostly, most of them should die before they get beat all. Maybe. Alright. Do the same thing right here. Yes, there is more. But thanks to my massive amount of auto ballistas, they should be dropping before. Yes, okay. This is the kind of BS you have to put up with. They'll never see this coming. Oh my gosh, that sounds painful. <laughs> so yes, uh, we're almost done. Wave 11 of 12. Again, try to hold the line right here. Thankfully, at the end of that, there was only just flame or fire ogres to deal with, and they're very easy to deal with even in Master Oaks, thanks to flame, thanks to the ice amulet AOE, ice amulet secondary. Once again, set up a one more right there to help. Set another, uh, set up another flaming secondary, fire bracer secondary right there to handle the cool cool that's your safety net. Uh, it's very easy for groups to run out of firepower very quickly on this level. So, you don't want that to happen. Oh, well you know, a bunch of sappers. I'm just gonna kill them all by corn forge, because it's easy to do. And... A couple more right there, another one coming up, get a bit more mana. Uh, all right. I missed one. So I'm going to. Oh boy. Okay, man up. Secondary it up. Man it up some more. Freeze him on his head, like so. Okay. Now go handle these guys really quickly. As I said, with two secondaries, it's very easy to plow through everything when they're frozen like so. Come on, Mr. Ogre. Right. 
one more over there for good measure, and now we are set up more or less. I'm going to keep layering these guys down this way as a just in case measure. But at this point in time, the only thing that should be getting through this is the massive amount of flame movers that are coming up on next on this way. And uh, I'm going to be making, I'm going to be abusing the living machines out of my, uh, out of my secondary, uh, secondary ice amulet. But until then, I got all these weenies to deal with. Where are my flame movers? Wow, all these flame movers are dying this quickly. Okay. Once again, another flame bracer AOE right there, another flame bracer secondary right there, the safety net to kill all the kobolds. And now here comes the ogres. I'm going to go back up a little bit because there's going to be a lot to deal with. First things first, get those guys, freeze those guys. Alright, get a bit more mana, freeze these guys in place. Town, like so, freeze you. Oh, never mind, you died already. I guess all those kobolds died horribly. Not enough for prime for secondary, so I'll just primary you. And there you go. There's the five skull victory dance. Uh, so that's the reverse tower. Uh, I definitely recommend Elemental Weaver, even though it's. Uh, you, you, and you're relying a lot on your skills, but I still recommend Elemental Weaver just because of the fact that between the glitchy four floors, not really any good ceiling spaces to put in clockwork bases, and only using auto ballistas, and the fact that you only have so much wall real estate to use, I definitely do recommend doing it as such. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself, take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.